Welcome back to Infigyan, my dear friends. In this video, we have one very interesting question from radicals. Here we have to evaluate 1 plus square root 17 over 2 whole power 12. So let's get started by considering this bracket equal to x. So I will write let x equal to 1 plus square root 17 over 2. Now we can cross multiply. So 2x will become 1 plus square root 17. Now subtract 1 from both sides. We will get 2x minus 1 equal to square root 17. Now I will consider squaring both sides. So I will write 2x minus 1 whole square equal to square root 17 whole square. Now square root and square will be over. In LHS we will apply a minus b whole square formula which will give us 4x square minus 4x plus 1 and RHS is 17. Now subtract 1 from both sides. So 4x square minus 4x will be equal to 17 minus 1 so 16. Now equation is divisible by 4. So we can write x square minus x equal to 4. Or we can write x square will be equal to x plus 4. Now I will consider cubing both sides. So we will be writing x square equal to x plus 4. And then we will take Q both sides. Now a power b whole power c it is equal to a power b times c. So LHS will be x power 6. Now the turn of a plus b whole cube identity. So it will be equal to a cube plus b cube plus 3a square b plus 3ab square. Now I can simplify a bit. x cube plus 64 plus 3 times 4. So it will be 12 times x square plus 3 times 4 square. So 48x. And LHS is x power 6. Now we can write x power 6 equal to x times x square plus 64 plus 12x square plus 48x. Now we will use our result x square was x plus 4. So we can write x power 6 equal to x times x plus 4 plus 64 plus 12 times x plus 4 plus 48x. Further we can write x square plus 4x plus 64 plus 12x plus 48 plus 48x. Now if I will add x then 4x plus 12 plus 48 so it will be 64x. So I can write x square plus 64x 64 plus 48 it will be 112. Now again we can write x square as x plus 4. Let me write here. x square plus 64x plus 112. This was our x power 6. Again I can write x square as x plus 4 plus 64x plus 112. So this will become 65x 
plus 116. This will be the value of x power 6. Now we have to evaluate x power 12. So I need to consider squaring both sides. So I will write x power 6 whole square. And then I will consider 65x plus 116 whole square. Now we know that a power b whole power c equal to a power b c. So our LHS will become x power 12. And RHS is 65x plus 116 whole square. Now we will use a plus b whole square formula here. So I can write x power 12 equal to 65x plus 116 whole square. So this will be equal to 65 square x square. a square is done plus 2 times 65 x times 116 plus 116 square. Now we have to write few values. 65 square is 4225 x square plus 2 times 65 times 116 this will be 15080 and 116 square is 13456 again i will write x square as x plus 4 so we can write 4 2 2 5 times x plus 4 then we have 15080x, then we have 13456. So we can write 4225x plus 4225 times 4. This will be 16900 plus 15080x plus 13456 now i will add like terms so x part 12 will become 19305 times x plus 30356 let me write here x part 12 will be 19305 times x plus 30,356. Now x was our substitution. This bracket was x. So I can write 1 plus square root 17 over 2. So our required expression x part 12 will be 19,305 times 1 plus square root 17 over 2 plus 30,356. Now I can write 19,305 plus 19,305 square root 17 over 2 plus I will multiply here with 2 in the numerator and denominator. So it will become 60,712 divided by 2. Now denominator is same. We will take 2 as LCM. Now we have to add 19,305 plus 19,305 times root 17 plus 60,712. This will be x power 12. So I can write x power 12 will come out 80,017 plus 19,305 times root 17 over 2. This will be our final answer. I hope friends you will like this video. Thank you so very much for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe.
till next video bye bye and take care of yourself